The Alfred's Management and Sustainability Living Learning Community is now in its second year. Incoming first-year students self-select to participate in the program located in Burdick Hall, a corridor-style dormitory. The program has a 28-student capacity and is co-ed. Tim Petrowski is the faculty in residence, and he has a small apartment in the same wing. Students take two classes together in the fall, English Composition and Fundamentals of Business, and one class in the spring, Environmental Science. The fall classes are conducted in the hall's first floor lounge. As part of the overall integrated learning experience, students write papers in English composition on topics covered in the management class and on topics related to sustainability. This lounge doubles as a classroom and activity center. The professors come to the student's residence hall rather than the students going to the professor's classroom, a unique experience. Besides being a mentor, advisor, and referral agent for the students, the faculty in residence conducts an evening workshop once a week that ties what the students are learning in their business or science class to real-world applications. The faculty member invites guest speakers to give a presentation or coordinates field trips. Both courses tie participation in these residential activities to their class grade. Part of the success of the program can be attributed to bringing the students together on their first night on campus. The program goals are outlined and then students get to know each other by doing several engaging group activities. From day one, students make friends that become companions with whom to explore the campus, share a meal in the dining hall, and participate in many residential life activities organized for the students. After day one, the floor lounge always seems to be filled with students who appreciate the company of others, many of whom are away from home for the first time. Without a doubt, this is the busiest, most occupied lounge on the entire campus. You can find a friend here almost any time of the day. Early in the semester, the focus is on getting the students oriented to college life and helping them adjust to the new challenges. Cindy Thorpe does a workshop on students' learning styles versus instructors' teaching styles and how students can successfully transition from high school to college. A member of Toastmasters International gives students tips on the power of great presentation. This year, he brought a middle school student who gave a 20-minute speech written by Frederick Douglass, almost from memory. One of the first field trips is to the college farm. While many of our students have been raised on farms, for others, it is the first time being up close and personal with the animals, the smells, and the textures of the farmyard, and learning techniques of sustainable farming. Students see milking in progress and have the opportunity to handle horses, sheep, and alpacas, and spend some time with the prettiest cows in the nation. Students from the LLC and the International Club come together to share customs of where they live and their favorite meals. Students in the LLC prepare their favorite American dishes, and the international students prepare their hometown favorites, with enough for everyone to get at least a taste. After dinner, a fun round of diversity bingo is played, with a debriefing session held at the conclusion of the evening. The first dinner had a definite Asian flair, with most international meals from either China or Japan. The fall 2011 dinner had a European influence, with dishes prepared by students from Romania, France, and Italy, along with a few specialties from China. At the conclusion of the fall 2010 semester, the LLC sponsored an etiquette dinner. One of Alfred's seniors, whose family has a background in catering, provided the place settings and several courses that could be expected at fine dining or a business dinner. The LLC took advantage of both Alfred's local expertise in international travel and that of the Hubert Humphrey Fellows from Cornell University. Jeff Johnson gave a presentation on Alfred's Sorrento, Italy connection, and the Humphrey Fellows from Mexico and Panama did presentations on their respective careers in their countries. On another evening, President Anderson presented his vision for the future of Alfred State. He was kind enough to bring along his guitar, and after the presentation, he, Dr. Tyrell, and one of the LLC students provided the instrumentals, while the LLC students chimed in with the vocals on several popular songs. Chairperson of the College Council, Patricia Fogarty, followed up with how she supports campus leaders in moving the college forward and addressing the topic of leadership through a discussion, common traits and characteristics of this nation's more successful leaders. In the spring, 
A tour of the village of Alfred's waterways treatment plant was an aromantic affair, and actually very informative. It received very positive reviews from the students who felt like they now know where things went after the flush. Dr. Tyrell has given presentations on ethics and ethical behavior. Students became extremely engaged in a discussion when they became judicial board members of a fictional cheating case. The seminars are held at different venues to help students discover the college. Dr. Baker's lecture on sustainability issues was held in the agricultural building, Greenhouse, and students were given an opportunity to plant some seeds in a later program. Another favorite field trip was to the Wellsville campus. Most students had not been to Wellsville and were very surprised at the size and scope of the campus. The trip focused on the sustainability features being implemented there. Jeff Stevens provided an excellent tour of the new green house built by students and the renewable energy topics that were being taught in his electrical program. The last LLC workshop demonstrated the importance of sensitivity to all people with disabilities. A buffet dinner was served, but each student was assigned a physical disability that they needed to cope with during the meal. Some were blindfolded, others were confined to a wheelchair or had some other physical impairment. Most students were surprised how even a relatively minor disability could significantly affect the enjoyment of a simple dinner. The capstone project for the LLC students and others in the environmental science class was the preparation of poster boards set up on Earth Day in the Central Dining Hall in April. Students answered questions from all visitors regarding their Earth Day topics. Approximately 89% of the 2010 2011 first year students in the LLC returned to college this fall. This is 25% higher than the overall first year student class.